singing is a talent but performing and singing is i think i would describe it beyond a talent malayalam etum gentle ait orkuna oru gayagan shiji venugopal well i don't want to begin this chat or podcast in conversation with a young singer by beginning with his father's name now i know you know whom i'm referring to but then definitely our comparison ivide it is beautiful because athrayum gentle ait chindikina oru gayagande magan innale bahrainil he made bahrain or the indians in bahrain dance to his tunes with us on this episode of the next guest from the 973 shows none other than Arvind Venugopal. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Arvind, welcome to the show. Thank you. Indeed, it's an honor to have you. Pleasure. Yani pe parna intro ile I was just thinking, you know, because I heard that you literally rocked last night at the <laughs> Indian Ladies Association's annual <laughs> day where you performed. Yes. Yani parne bolle Venugopal is an emotion for many mm. uh, of people like from mm. my generation, I would say mm. like you know, we think of those melodies soul drenching. അങ്ങനെയുള്ള ഒരു മെലോഡിയസ് സിംഗർ ആ ലെഗസിയുമായിട്ടാണ് യു ആർ സിറ്റിംഗ് ഹിയർ യു നോ യു മസ്റ്റ് ഹവ് ഗ്രോൺ അപ്പ് ലിസണിങ് ടു യുവർ ഡാഡ് സിംഗിങ് ഇൻ സച്ച് എ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ ഗ്രാൻഡിഷൻ ആൻഡ് നാവ് യു ആർ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് എ ക്രൗഡ് ദറ്റ് യു കൻ കോൾ ഇറ്റ് മിലീനിയൽസ് ഓർ ജെൻസി ഓർ വാട് എവർ ഹു വുഡ് ലവ് സിംഗിങ് വിത്ത് പവർ ഇസ് ഇൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇതിൻ്റെ ഒരു ബ്ലെൻഡ് ആണ് ഇന്നലെ യു പെർഫോംഡ് ഇൻ ബഹറൈൻ ലെറ്റ്സ് ബിഗിൻ ഓൺ ദാറ്റ് നോട്ട് ഹൗ ഡിഡ് യു മാനേജ് ദിസ് well as a performer i think you have to be able to uh, perform all sorts of songs comfort zone and the melodies and i'm okay. very comfortable singing melodies all right um whereas fast numbers i will have to practice more than i would have to uh, per se one of dad songs or one of kind the kind of songs that i'm used to singing but it's it's you know it's, it's part of the show <laughs> okay so yeah you're doing it for the yeah yeah Yeah, it's okay. not that I don't enjoy it, but mm-hmm. the effort that I put in for a fast number is way more than for a melody. Interesting, yeah. interesting. So, uh, in this conversation, let's have a very casual chat. Take mm. us through your journey. Mm. Like, now you're a professional singer, isn't mm-hmm. it? Did you always aspire to be a professional singer? No, not really. <laughs> What did you want to be in life? Uh, that's a <laughs> deep question. I wanted to be many things in life. <laughs> okay. At various points, I think... Uh, that's natural kid, right yeah, you keep changing yeah at some point yeah. we all wanted to be an astronaut i wanted to be a pilot okay we mari konde irundundayirun yeah uh, and uh, then um, I, i reached a point in life where i wanted to do advertising and film making which yes. is what i did for most of my adult life mm-hmm. and singing was always a part of my life um, obviously because of my father and i started singing professionally at the age of 19 when i was in college Uh, my first uh, playback singing gig was in this film called The Train. Okay. Uh, uh it was a movie starring Mammootty that came out in 2011. Yes. Uh so that's my first uh, outing as a playback singer. Okay. And uh playback singing was happening on and off because education was also going on one side. Uh but then yeah since 2018 and 19 I've been fairly regular. Okay. Uh, and now I can say that I'm a full-time playback singer. <laughs> Very good. So are you trained a trained singer as in oh, Who, uh, who were your gurus? Uh, my gurus were probably my father. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, I've trained uh, for maybe two or three months vocally. Karnatik Shastra Sangeetam, I've been trained for two or three months. Okay, interesting. What I'm trained in is piano. So technically I'm trained in music but not vocally. Okay. Uh, college, you, you, I did my college in Madras Christian College in Chennai, Tambra. So usually you have a lot of Korea Malayali people who are studying in a college. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. അങ്ങനെ സാധാരണ ആണല്ലോ അങ്ങനത്തെ ഒരു ജൂനിയർ ഇദ്ദേഹത്തിന് മാൻ വന്നു എന്നാൽ അവനെ കൊണ്ട് ഒരു പാട്ട് പഠിപ്പിക്കണമല്ലോ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് റാഗിങ്ങിന്റെ ഭാഗമായിട്ട് പാടി തുടങ്ങിയതാണ് അപ്പം ദേ റിയലി ലൈക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദേ ഫോസ്റ്റ് മീ ടു മൈ സീനിയേഴ്സ് ഫോസ്റ്റ് മീ ടു അറ്റൻഡ് ഓൾ ദീസ് ഫ്രഷേഴ്സ് കോണ്ടെസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ഫ്രം ദേ ഇൻസൈഡ് ദ റൂംസ് ഐ വെൻ ടു ഇൻസൈഡ് ദ ഹോസ്റ്റൽ ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ഐ വാസ് റെപ്രസെന്റിംഗ് ദ കോളേജ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ഇന്റർ കോളേജ് ഫെസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ ഐ ജസ്റ്റ് കെപ്റ്റ് ഗ്രോയിങ് ഐ ഹാഡ് എ ബാൻഡ് So yeah, there was no looking back after that. <laughs> okay, okay. That's a beautiful journey. You just mentioned about piano. Yes. Why piano of all the instruments? Was it your personal interest again? Yeah, it was my personal interest. I, okay. I've always had an inclination. Are you still continuing practicing it or Not did you really, ever do? Not really, but no? if you listen to most of my cover songs, which I have a huge hand in, in terms of creatively, 
uh, when I sing for other composers, I don't have a say in what kind of instruments that mm-hmm. I can use. Mm-hmm. When the cover in your own, yeah, you can bring in that. Mostly piano yeah, yeah. backing. I think I always had an inclination towards piano. <laughs> okay, and why did you not pursue it for any reason? <laughs> have you ever done a concert? No, no? never. Never. Okay. Do you yeah. want to? Do you not work? really. I don't think I was that good a pianist. I was just very. <laughs> Yeah, I was just very interested in the instrument, and I really like the sound of the instrument. Okay. <laughs> any other instruments? Uh, I like all instruments. Allah, so. um, do you play any other? No, you, just, no just only piano. piano. Yeah. Only piano. Okay. Take us through your childhood, uh, Arvind. Like, how was it? What do you recollect from uh, your childhood in a music family, right? Well, <laughs> I grew up in. Um, I was uh, brought up in Chennai. My father was working with All India Radio there, and he was mm. stationed in Chennai. So uh, most of my formative years were in Chennai, and then we moved to Trivandrum, where I completed my education, and then I went back to Chennai and Bangalore for my uh, bachelor's and master's again. So I speak very good Tamil and Malayalam. Okay, okay. <laughs> Multilingual, ah, that way. So I'm very comfortable singing in both languages, speaking in both languages. I have friends from both states as well. So okay. Yeah, you just said you you love melodies <laughs> and you sing melodies. Is melody your chosen genre given a chance it's my strength okay yeah, i'm way more comfortable singing a melody yeah. okay achinna baatu latest ishta edu baatu that's a very unfair question <laughs> <laughs> i know but people out there would want to know it's like do you have a choice do you have a favorite or, uh, i know uh, so you know interviews and you know chodikarond appo okayalum edo varumugilen because it's very easy for me to sing that song uh-huh. but it changes season wise ingane maarikonde irukke angane oru favorite song illa mm-hmm. there was a season where i genuinely liked edavar mugil was my favorite then maya manjal undayirunnu udanvi gaana undayirunnu so all songs are favorite <laughs> okay okay appo ee stage performance like oru vaadu request varumba achanda paattukal verarundu allo le usually uh, request vanna kore varan thodangiyappo അതൊരു മെഡ്ലി ആക്കിയിട്ട് അച്ഛൻ്റെ ഒരു പോർഷനായിട്ട് തന്നെ കൺവേർട്ട് What about your personal songs? Any any uh, p- favorites like that which you have really. sung? Not really. Obviously, the most popular ones give me satisfaction because they're the ones that really put my name out there. Like Marabadum Nagumo, they're all mm, extremely mm. popular. But I've put in the same effort for all the other songs that have not made that big an impact as well. So all of them are my favorites okay. in a way. Do you want to sing two lines of Marabadum for yeah, us? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm. മഴപാടും കുളിരായി വന്നതാരു ഇവളോ തിന്നലായി താണലായി ഇനിയാരോ ഇവളോ അറിയാതൊരു മൽപ്പീലി തിരയുന്നു തമ്മിൽ നാം കാണാതിരുന്ന നേരമാകെ തന്നെ it's one of the best you know like uh because it takes you to somehow i feel very nostalgic the okay. movie as such is beautiful right. and then your co singer was amazing <laughs> i think she did a wonderful yeah. job ile and uh, you feel it it very much resonates with your father's singing kind of yeah. did you uh, by any chance other imbibe edadano did you learn it from him did you pick it from him subconsciously i think i it was there uh, right? imitate you look around that's the kind of style that i've listened to the most kuchle tote ella swachan practice cheyana kekkarund so naturally oru oru inclination unda avanganthe style paadan vendi ittu adha irikkum this is exactly what i wanted to come to arvind yeah. you just use the right word yeah. that's my next question imitation evidingil adoru hindrance aayittu thonittundo did did you find that you know by imbibing that style that you're just mimicking venu gopal the singer did it somewhere eclipse your career or your professional pursuances uh, uh, actually the exact opposite uh, i think actually i am significant age gap alone mm. so his actually the young voice is now how i sound like so i'll carry on but i was like you know ball voice and so angant or crowd is now coming to hear me sing so i think it's only benef- i've only benefited from it <laughs> okay okay achan da odappam stage share edittu ah ishtam pole okay appa appa endayirunnu oru what what was your first uh, feeling when you did in your first stage engine irunnu how did you feel 
First when was that? Do you remember? Sure. How I'm, old were you at least? I I'm not sure the exact uh, year, but I think right after college when I was 22, 23, mm-hmm. to when mm-hmm. the Tagore Theatre was. Tagore. Achanda ru show da ne ayarono. I had one or two solos and then we I think we sang Edo Var Mugilam together. Mm. It was great. I am always very comfortable singing with him because I know the spotlight is not on me. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's yeah. okay. Ah, uh, you know, per te you know trend, you know. പണ്ടത്തെ അപേക്ഷിച്ച് നോക്കുമ്പോൾ യങ് സിംഗേഴ്സ് ഒരുപാടാണ് ദർ ആർ സോ മെനി സിംഗേഴ്സ് എസ്പെഷ്യലി താങ്ക്സ് ടു ദീസ് റിയാലിറ്റി ഷോസ് വിച്ച് ത്രൂസ് അപ്പ് അലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ടാലൻറ്റ് ഔട്ട് ദർ ആൻഡ് വൺ ഔട്ട് വോയ്സ് ഹിയർ ആൻഡ് ദർ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഗോൺ അങ്ങനത്തെ ഒരു ട്രെൻഡ് ആണല്ലോ പണ്ടത്തെ പോലെ വി ഹാഡ് സിഗ്നേച്ചേഴ്സ് സിംഗേഴ്സ് ലൈക് യേശുദാസ് എം ജി ശ്രീകുമാർ വേണുഗോപാൽ ചിത്ര സുജാത വി നെയിം ദം ആൻഡ് വി നോ ദം ഇപ്പോൾ പലരുടെയും പേര് പോലും നമ്മൾ ഓർക്കുന്നില്ല What is your take on that? In no, our time, I don't think there was no reality shows. No, no reality shows. No, but then sure singers were like definitely there. Like. Others who mm. sounded exactly like my mm. father. Just that he got a foot inside the door so and he made it. Mm. And they thought that they could never make it. Or maybe they didn't put enough effort to make it either. Now, there are extremely great singers coming out of YouTube because that is a platform. Now, there are great singers coming out of YouTube because that is a platform. talent to showcase and the opportunity is to be able to show it. So that's the only difference. Ah, but my question was, talent to showcase and the opportunity is to be able to show it. Many voices are just fading out. Hmm. You know, some big, come with like a big hit. Hmm. Like, you know, my reality show hmm. winners, like, where are they? Hmm. What's happening to them? Like, they are pursuants, because you gave your life to music. They hmm. are like, passionate hmm. pursuants. Other people, പുതിയ ജനറേഷനിൽ വാട്ട് ഇസ് യുവർ ടേക്ക് ഓൺ ദാറ്റ് ദാറ്റ്സ് വോട്ട് ഐ വാസ് ആസ്കിങ് ഓഹ് അങ്ങനെ ചോദിച്ചു ഇറ്റ്സ് എ വെരി ഹെവി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഓക്കേ യു ഡോ വോണ്ട് ടു ടേക്ക് ഇറ്റ് നോ നോ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഫൈൻ ഐ വിൽ ടേക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഐ ഐ കാൻ ഗിവ് യു എൻ എക്സാക്റ്റ് ആൻസർ ആസ് ടു വൈ ദാറ്റ്സ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് ഐ പ്രീറ്റി ഷോ കൺവീനിയൻസ് ഫാക്ടർ ഹാസ് ഓൾസോ കം ഇൻ ആസ് ഇൻ ഐ ഗെറ്റ് കോൾഡ് ഫോർ എ റെക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടുഡേ ആൻഡ് ഐ എം ഹ്യൂർ ഐ എം നോട്ട് ഏബിൾ ടു മേക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഐ എം പ്രീറ്റി ഷോ ദേ കത്ത് കോൾ ആൻഡ് ഇമീഡിയറ്റ്ലി കോൾ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ വൺ ദാറ്റ്സ് ഹൗ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് Okay. അത് അങ്ങനെയാണ് കൺവീനിയൻസ് ഫാക്ടർ ഇസ് ഓൾസോ വിച്ച് ഇസ് ഓൾസോ ആൻഡ് ടെലിങ് ദർ ആർ ഈക്വലി ഓർ ഇഫ് നോട്ട് ബെറ്റർ സിംഗേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് മീ ഇൻ ദ സെയിം വെസിനിറ്റി സോ ഇറ്റ്സ് വെരി ഈസി ഫോർ എ മ്യൂസിക് ഡയറക്ടർ ടു യു നോ പണ്ടത്തെ പോലെ ഇങ്ങനെ വെയിറ്റ് ചെയ്യേണ്ട ആവശ്യമില്ല ആവശ്യം വരുന്നില്ല ഓക്കെ വെരി ഫ്യൂ പീപ്പിൾ ഹാവ് ആക്ച്വലി വെയിറ്റഡ് ഫോർ മീ അരവിന്ദ് ടെൽ എസ് ലൈക്ക് ഹൗ ഇസ് യുവർ വൺ ഡേ Well, Are you a very organized person? Do you get up in the morning, you go I, by I a do, I do. calendar, yeah, yeah. I mean your clock? Yeah, I do. Of course, my mechanical lifestyle is still a lot. My career choice is the exact opposite. Okay. <laughs> uh, performance daily, usually it's, um, I try to uh, rest, vocal rest to Korea. And in the evening, there are a few practice sessions and now, then I'll have a sound check. And then in the evening will be a show. This is my normal performance. Mm-hmm. There was some. Uh, recordings are and I'll make sure that I wake up a little early so that my throat is a little warmed up I like to record in the morning like between 10 and 12 mm-hmm. uh, so I'm done with the recordings and if I have more than one recording a day I make sure that there's enough time between time gap between the two yeah, that's mm-hmm. how I do it mm-hmm. and there are there are days where I sit at home I don't have work as well it's not like I work every day uh, yeah. there are recordings mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, on the other days I just rest chill at home <laughs> all right what about your projects like what are the new projects lined up or like uh, how is it space i know you do albums mm. uh, you sing mm. uh, in movies mm. uh, what are the uh, and you do covers a lot of yeah. covers isn't it i haven't done covers in a while um i have a lot of album songs pandatha pole it's not like one album has six songs they're all eps like yeah, one yeah. single in youtube yeah, yeah. i have like four or five of them mm. coming out the next big maybe movie song that's coming out should be in tamil it's a movie called aathma mm-hmm. it stars a malayali narena mm-hmm. uh, is the mm-hmm. hero of the tamil so i have a, a very interesting song in that so that should be coming out so you want to sing that for us no i can't sing that you can't sing that yet. okay <laughs> <laughs> all right i think we'll just um, put in one more from you ah. a vocal any any other tamil ishtolla oru part any ishtolla tamil oh yeah sure Ennavali, adi ennavali, endu nidayatthai tholaitha vittu Endu idam, adu tholaitha idam, andu idatthai ummarandhu vittu Undan kaal kolusil, adu tholaitha dhenru, undan kaal adi thedi vandhu காதல் என்றால் பெரும் அவஸ்தை என்று உனை கண்டதும் கண்டு கொண்டேன் 
இந்தன் கழுத்து வரை இந்த காதல் வந்து இர கண் விழி பெதுங்கி என்னவளே அடி என்னவளே another beautiful song uni <laughs> krishnan right yeah um arvind um you settled in trivandrum like yes. okay. tell us about your family we, we all know your father mm-hmm. but then mom sister uh, ama my mother's a housewife mm-hmm. uh, my sister she just finished her msc uh, in psychology from christ college bangalore and she's now taking a break to prepare for her mphil exams okay yeah. <laughs> what about the future what are your plans just, are you getting married any soon I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> okay. So marriage is not in cards or not any sort. I'm just staying going with the flow. With That's the flow. It. Yeah. Right. Okay. Career wise is there anything new coming up? Uh just a lot just of songs. The yeah, songs. the songs. So just right now life is good. Okay. Yeah, I'm having shows and recordings regularly. Mhm. So yeah, just going on with that. All right. So this is your first time in Bahrain? No, this is my second time in Bahrain. Second time. How I do you like Bahrain? Bahrain is a great place. So the first time what brought you here? Uh it was a show I was with uh, it was my father's show in which I was also performing okay. I think it was in 2019 19 yeah so this was also a show yeah. uh the indian ladies this is my solo show yeah solo yeah. show how was the show last night it was great it was uh, for the indian ladies association bar and i'm very thankful for the invite mm-hmm. and it was it, it i think it's my first time that i am performing all the songs in hindi uh because most of their members are from north india mm. so we had a great time okay yeah. and um the the feedback too was that's why i told you like you made them literally dance to your tunes yeah. last night that's what i told i was told unfortunately i could not make it uh, hindi huh. when it comes to hindi singing you know the malayali singing huh. hindi and oru oru palapore nammal kekkuna oru the language the the yeah, yeah, the yeah, accent yeah. Yes, yes. how did you train on that you seem not to have any of that oh really is, oh, thank you yeah that's what at least <laughs> i, I felt yeah, yeah it's an effort See, right naturally it happens when uh, Hindi singers when they come and sing in Malayalam, obviously they have an accent. It's because कुछले तो टेन हमलोग yeah we are not native speakers yeah, yeah. yeah. we exactly. speak a language in a certain way so it's very natural for us to speak another language very similar to us. But speaking वाले लोग लो singing part में तो it becomes very obvious लेकिन yeah diction diction, mm. diction wise yeah very, that's very natural mm-hmm. yeah, it's like English is I'm sorry like French there's an accent mm. British have an accent American has an accent Indians speak English in a certain way I don't right that's the question no matter two lines in Hindi. Hindi oh yeah show sure. <laughs> which song in that <laughs> can i just look sure, at the lyrics sure, of that sure, okay sure, sure. Yeah. abhi mujh me kahi baaki thodi si hai zindagi jagi dhadkan nahi jana zinda hu main to abhi कुछ ऐसी लगन इस लम है मैं ये लम हा कहाँ था मेरा अब है सामने इसे छोड़ू जरा मर जाओ या जी लू जरा खुशिया चूम लू yaro lu zara mar ja ya ji lu zara mar ja ya ji lu zara zarur jiyo jiyo jug jug jiyo uh arvind um i know the next uh, couple of questions that i would be asking would be normal maybe those cliche questions but still i would like to have the view point of a young singer right. you know um uru interview le we had been speaking to the legendary sri kumar and tambi mm-hmm. sir he had this concern of the value mm-hmm. of lyrics mm-hmm. dying out mm-hmm. the pace of music climbing up and the soul of the creation mm-hmm. being lost young singers i know engena pradigarikkunnu enik arilla but what is aravind's Uh, perspective on that in that the particle mm. comparison alla again ah. you know gone are those days innum undu nalla paattukal innum varunnundu chela songs they they just cling on to mm. you like they make you pull a chair and sit mm. down and mm. listen to it again and again because that's very rare mm. once in a blue moon thing why and 
how do you look at that trend ha uh, mostly i think with the advent of social media ipo nammada attention span is very small i read that now ipo i think it has to any tune has to strike you in, in the first 3 seconds, seconds or else you're swiping mm. so i think uh, see um, songs are also a marketing tool which is why songs are released before the film പണ്ടും അങ്ങനെ തന്നെയായിരുന്നു അത് മാർക്കറ്റിംഗ് ടൂൾ ആയിട്ടും കൂടെ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് അതർ ദാൻ ടു ഫർദർ ദ നാരറ്റീവ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓൾസോ മാർക്കറ്റിംഗ് ടൂൾ സോ അതിനും കൂടെ വേണ്ടിയിട്ടായിരിക്കും യുവർ യു നോ ദ സോങ്സ് ആർ സച്ച് ദാറ്റ് യുവർ ഇമ്മീഡിയറ്റ്ലി ത്രസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ടു ഇറ്റ് പ്രോബബ്ലി റിഗാർഡിങ് ദി ലിറിക് ഐ തിങ്ക് നമ്മൾ എൻ്റെ ഇപ്പോൾ എൻ്റെ എൻ്റെ അനിയത്തിയും ഞങ്ങൾ സംസാരിക്കുന്ന ഭാഷ നോക്കിയാലും ഇറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ലിറ്റിൽ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ദ കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് വേർഡ്സ് വൊക്കാബുലി ദ വൊക്കാബുലറി ദ ദേ യൂസ് ആൻഡ് ഐ യൂസ് എ വെരി ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് അപ്പോൾ main source of who are listening to our you know the young mm-hmm. batch and all mm-hmm. working uh, like uh, a professional who's working or usually on the way to work radio like up on the way back radio like up but they're angle and they always have this in their ear they are the <laughs> yeah. ones who are listening to more music okay. so you're making music for them so which is why okay that's that sounded a fair explanation yeah. recently yeah. i read a movie and laavesham aaveshathile paattukalana mumbil nikkunathu പക്ഷെ പലപ്പോഴും ലിറിക്സ് കേൾക്കാൻ പോലും ഇല്ല ഇറ്റ്സ് സോ ലൗഡ് അതിനാകെ ഞാൻ എൻ്റെ മെമ്മറിയിലുള്ളത് എല്യൂമിനാറ്റി മാത്രമാണ് എല്യൂമിനാറ്റിസ് കം അപ്പ് ലൈക്ക് അങ്ങനത്തെ ഒരു ലെവലിലേക്ക് പോകുമ്പോൾ വേർ ഇസ് ദിസ് മ്യൂസിക് ഓർ ദ ആ വാല്യൂ ക്വസ്റ്റൻ ആണ് വിത്ത് മെയ്ഡ് മീ തിങ്ക് കേൾക്കുന്നേയില്ല നമ്മൾ ലിറിക്സ് കേൾക്കുന്നേയില്ല ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് കമ്മിങ് ഓൺ സബ് ടൈറ്റിൽസ് അതുകൊണ്ട് മാത്രം സെർട്ടൻ തിങ്സ് രജിസ്റ്റർ അപ്പോൾ ഓ ഇതാണല്ലേ അവർ പാടുന്നതെന്ന് തോന്നിപ്പോ അങ്ങനെ ഒരു ലെവലിലേക്ക് പോകുമ്പോൾ ഹൗ ഡു യു ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് അല്ല ഐ തിങ്ക് ദ റോണർ ഓഫ് മ്യൂസിക് അങ്ങനെയാണല്ലോ ഐ തിങ്ക് ദി ആർ ഐം ടേക്കിംഗ് ആവേശം ഇലുമിനാറ്റി ഐ റിയലി ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് സോങ് ഐ ലൈക് ഇറ്റ് ആസ് വെൽ യെസ് ഐ തിങ്ക് ദി ഇന്റൻഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി സോങ് വാസ് ടു മേക്ക് പീപ്പിൾ ഡാൻസ് ആൻഡ് യു നോ കുറച്ച് ആവേശം കേട്ട കേട്ടാനുള്ള ഒരു പാട്ടാണല്ലോ ഐ തിങ്ക് ഐ തിങ്ക് അതിൽ മ്യൂസിക്കിൽ കൂടെയാണ് കൂടുതലും അവർ ശ്രമിച്ചിട്ടുള്ളത് ദാറ്റ്സ് എ കോൺഷ്യസ് ഡിസിഷൻ ബൈ ദ മ്യൂസിക് ഡയറക്ടർ ആൻഡ് ഐ റെസ്പെക്ട് ദാറ്റ് അഞ്ജലി മേനൻ എന്ന മൂവി കോൾ കൂടെ Okay. I also uh, assisted Vinay Srinivasan in Hrudaya. So, oh, amazing. <laughs> both the movies are beautiful yeah. in fact. Yeah, both. I worked in advertising. Kude was very well. different, yes. I thought, and it was very nice. It was. Nasri and Nivin. Yeah, uh, Nasri and, and Prithviraj. Prithviraj, yeah. And <coughs> Hrudaya was, Hrudaya. of course, of course. It's a beautiful song. What, how was that experience was behind the camera? It was great working with both of them. Okay. Uh, I was a master's in Bangalore with MSC Communication. I was working in advertising for over a year. and i thought that longer formats is what i wanted to do and i went to los angeles i did a course in filmmaking came back and assisted these two what i want to do is films uh, mm-hmm. i've written scripts i have to start pitching them <laughs> oh, visual arts can. is what i've been involved in for the most part of my adult life <laughs> nice beautiful so it was very nice chatting with you uh, what would you want to tell bahrain oh, uh, first of all i love this <laughs> country and the people here uh looking forward to coming back and performing soon uh, thank you keep listening to my music and supporting me thank you arvin thank you for joining us Pleasure. on the 97 please മലയാളത്തിൻ്റെ ശബ്ദ സൗന്ദര്യം എന്ന് വിശേഷിപ്പിക്കാവുന്ന ശ്രീ ജി വേണുഗോപാലിൻ്റെ ഒരു മിനിയേച്ചർ വേർഷൻ പക്ഷേ മിനിയേച്ചർ വേർഷൻ ആണെന്നേ ഉള്ളൂ when it comes to the talent he is as good as his dad or going places beyond that we wish arvind venugopal all the very best so wait for the next interesting exciting and engaging guest on the next guest from 973 show